You're watching Giants Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. I appreciate everybody for stopping by. As we react to an article that NFL draft expert Jordan Reed, who works for ESPN, where he said that Cam Ward, our guy, is a perfect fit for the New York football Giants and Brian Dable. And on today's video, I'm going to tell you why that is 100% a fact. Look, if you watch this channel, you know that we are big fans of Cam Ward. He is having an awesome season for the Hurricanes, com completing north of 75% of his passes, already almost up to 3,000 passing yards, and he's thrown 24 touchdowns to five interceptions. But the reason we love him and have coined the nickname of Cam Marino, it goes well beyond the box score. And we're going to go brick by brick as to why I believe he is QB1, but I wanted you to hear what Jordan Reed had to say, where he wrote, the New York Giants are a perfect fit for Cam Ward. With Daniel Jones' era likely ending after the season, Giants general manager Joe Shane and coach Brian Dable will finally get a chance to draft, quote, their guy at QB. The six foot two, 223-pound Ward provides an exciting package of arm talent, poise, and accuracy that the franchise has been seeking for quite some time. Dable's scheme works best when engineered by a passer who can take advantage of intermediate and deep throws, which have been lacking in New York's offense. The playmaking and mobility of Ward would also help mask a lot of the shortcomings on the Giants' O-line. Pairing Ward's electrifying playmaking with the young star receiver Malik Neighbors would give the Giants an exciting offensive core to build around. So, Jordan Reed calls Cam Ward a perfect fit for the New York Giants. I wonder where we've heard that before. Oh, yeah, you heard it on this channel three weeks ago where I said Ward is a perfect fit for the Giants and Brian Dable. That's why you subscribe. We're ahead of the curve. It's just what we do. My question to you, though, is this. Who is your QB1 in the 2025 NFL draft? Is it Ward? Is it Sanders? Is it somebody else? There's a lot of talk that this is one of the worst QB classes in recent memory. So I just want to hear from all the real ones. Who's your QB1? And who do you want to be the Giants QB coming out of the draft this upcoming April? For me, it's Cam Ward. Cam Ward is my QB1, and I think there is actually a sizable gap. I think Ward is QB1. I got Shador Sanders as QB2, and then there's another drop-off. I only have two quarterbacks with a first-round grade in this year's class, it is Ward and it is Sanders. And I'm not sure I want to bring the Sanders circus to the clown show that is the New York football giants right now. Four reasons why I believe Cam Ward is QB1. And honestly, I love the fact that the national media and the NFL seem like they don't believe it's Cam Ward and QB1. So let's keep it our secret today's show because everything I'm about to tell you is going to sound like former number one prospects. Big time throws. There is not a throw that this guy cannot make. He can touch every blade of grass and he elevates an offense because of his arm talent. He has 20 big time throws this season. That is number one in the country of any QB with at least 220 passing attempts this season. He is 23 of 48 on 20 plus yard throws. That is number three in the country of, of any QB with at least 45 throws. And on those big time throws where they travel more than 20 plus yards in the air, he has nine touchdowns to zero interceptions and only three turnover worthy plays. So not only can he execute a deep passing offense and be the orchestrator and the generator of an explosive offense, he can also take care of the ball when doing so, has not thrown an interception one time this year when the ball has traveled more than 20 plus yards. Outside of all of the tangibles, like being able to make plays outside of the pocket, being able to throw the ball over the middle of the field, being able to escape and create plays, I love what he has intangibly, and that is he is an alpha and he is a culture changer, and most importantly, he is a dog, and the Giants right now, they need more of those guys on this football team. His head coach, Mario Cristobal, said this earlier this week, in every aspect, he is magical as a player, as he is a leader. He's an alpha dog, and his personality, his mentality, they match what he does on the field. When you go put those things together, the strength of his leadership grows. He's brought a lot to the table. 
And the Miami Hurricanes fans know that. In one season, a year where Miami was 7-5, seven 7-6 and five, seven and six last year after the bowl game, Ward has flipped the script for the Hurricanes. They are now looked at as a team that could win their conference, get to the college football playoff, and potentially win the national championship. Players love playing for him. Coaches love coaching him. And fan bases love rallying around him. He is someone that elevates your franchise and he establishes a culture. And the Giants, they have a void of those type of players. I've got two more reasons as to why I believe Cam Ward is QB1. But first, I got to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, Game Time. If you're looking to buy tickets to an upcoming sporting event, you want to go to a concert, you want to go to a theater event, use the promo code chat sports and you're going to get $20 off your first purchase where terms do apply. Look, if you want to go see the Giants this year, at least save a couple bucks and use that promo code. You do get the best seats for the lowest price guaranteed. Prices actually drop as the events get closer, and the app will actually alert you when the best deals are going on. Take advantage of the two features that I use every time. It's the Game Time Picks feature. It makes it that much more easy to go see your favorite team or your favorite performers perform, and the all-in pricing feature. That way, the price you see is the price that you pay, and you don't get hit with any hidden fees when you get to checkout. So download the app. Create an account. Use the promo code CHATSPORTS, C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S, and you're going to get $20 off your first purchase where terms do apply. All that information will be clickable down in the comments and description of today's show. Another reason that I just love the prospect is the way that he's able to manipulate the pocket, be cool under pressure, and reset the pocket. It is a skill of a quarterback to be able to play under duress, to not have pressures turn into sacks. And Cam Ward, when you watch him, he's sometimes a little too cool and too calm in the pocket. But I truly do believe that nothing phases this guy. Listen to this. Cam, under pressure this year, completes 54.9% of his passes. Number three in the country of anyone with 70-plus throws under pressure this year. The guy's completing 55% of his passes under pressure. We have had quarterbacks go number four overall in the draft that couldn't even complete 55% of their passes in total in college football. He's thrown five TDs to just two interceptions under pressure. His ability to make plays under duress when it breaks down is something that elevates him up my big board. And also, I think the thing that's most underrated about his game because we see the big-time throws. We see him throwing the ball all over the field. We see him breaking the pocket. We see him having one of the better adjusted completion percentages in college football. Is This guy is an elite athlete. And what I love about it the most is he's not someone that relies on his athleticism to be effective. This is a guy that strictly wins from the pocket. But when he needs to scramble, he makes plays. He is number three in scramble yards in the country. Whereas he's at the bottom of the country when it comes to de um, design QB runs. He's not someone that you just want to scheme up QB power with. He can if you need to. But if there's a play that breaks down, it's third and 12, and he's got to scamper outside the pocket and get north and south and eat up green grass, he can do that. There are some things I am worried about. There's no doubt about it. But this guy is as close, in my opinion, to... Some of the recent quarterbacks we've seen as being franchise QBs in a long time. If people are going to call me crazy, he reminds me of Caleb Williams. I see a lot of Caleb Williams in Cam Ward. And I want people to keep sleeping on him because he may just be a giant at pick number nine, the spot that they do own at the time of recording this video. If you want the Giants to draft Cam Ward like this video. I asked you who your QB1 earlier was, and if you're a part of the Cam Marino hype train, hit that thumbs up icon, and make sure you are following me on social media. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram, at Marshall Green underscore. Hit me up over there, and please, Joe Shane, draft Cam Ward.